हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज मिल्ले थम्सन मेथड टू फाइंड एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इफ यू प्लस वी और यू माइनस वी इज गिवन टू एस लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई वी इफ द सम ऑफ रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड that is u plus v or difference of real and imaginary part of f of z that is u minus v is given to us now let us discuss the approach to find the solution let f of z is equal to u plus iv be the required analytic function then we multiply throughout this function by i to get i into f of z is equal to i into u i square v that is minus v now we add both of these functions so we have f of z plus i into f of z that is 1 plus i into f of z is equal to u minus v plus i into u plus v now we let this function as capital f of z is equal to capital u plus i into capital v because of this assumption we get capital f of z is equal to 1 plus i into f of z and capital u is equal to u minus v and capital v is equal to u plus v now using milne thomson method first we find out this capital f of z whenever u minus v is given to us that is capital u is given to us or u plus v that is capital v is given to us and then we'll find out small f of z using the relation between capital f of z and small f of z now let us discuss how you can use milne thomson method to find capital f of z if capital u or capital v is given to us recall these two equations we have let capital f of z is equal to 1 plus i into f of z capital u is equal to u minus v and capital v is equal to u plus v so whenever u minus v is given to us that means we are given real part of capital f of z that is capital u then we write appropriate derivative of capital f of z which is equal to 1 plus i into f dash of z which is equal to ux minus i u y we have written derivative of capital f of z in terms of ux and u y because these values are known to us then we will substitute for ux and u y and finally we integrate it to find small f of z on the similar lines we can find out what is capital f of z and eventually small f of z if u plus v is given to us for that first we find out partial derivatives of v that is vx and vy then we let psi1 x comma y as vx and psi2 x comma y is equal to vy then we put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 in psi1 and psi2 then we find the appropriate derivative of capital f of z in terms of vx and vy because these values are known to us now then we put psi1 and psi2 for vx and vy and finally we integrate both sides to find small f of z now let us see an example on this here question is to find an analytic function in terms of z if u minus v is equal to x minus y into x square plus 4xy plus y square is given that is u minus v is equal to when you open these two brackets it will be x cube plus 3x square y minus 3xy square minus y cube as discussed earlier let f of z is equal to u plus iv be the required analytic function where 
u minus v is already given to us. We multiply this function by i to get i into f of z is equal to i u minus v. Adding these two equations, we get 1 plus i into f of z is equal to u minus v plus i into u plus v. If I let this as capital F of z is equal to capital U plus i v, then it is clear that capital U is given to us. Now as u is given to us, we will find out its partial derivative ux and uy. Here ux that is partial derivative of u with respect to x keeping y terms constant would be 3x square plus 6xy minus 3y square minus 0 because y cube is a constant term so its derivative is 0. We let it as 51x comma y. Now we find uy that is partial derivative of capital U with respect to y keeping x terms constant. So it is clear that derivative of x cube is 0, derivative of 3x square y is just 3x square minus derivative of 3xy square is 6xy and finally minus derivative of y cube is 3y square. We let it as 52x comma y. Then we put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 in phi 1 and phi 2 to get phi 1 z comma 0 and phi 2 z comma 0. So phi 1 z comma 0 would be 3 z square plus 6 z into 0 that is 0 minus 3 0. So phi 1 z comma 0 is just 3 z square and phi 2 z comma 0 would be 3 z square minus 6 into z into 0 that is 0 minus 3 into 0 that is 0 again. So both phi 1 z comma 0 and phi 2 z comma 0 are 3 z square. Now we write derivative of capital F of z in terms of ux and uy in this way. Derivative of capital F of z is 1 plus i into f dash of z. Substituting values for ux and uy, we have 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to 3z square into 1 minus i. We carry forward this answer on my next slide. Now, we take this 1 plus i on the other side to get f dash of z is equal to 1 upon 1 plus i into 3z square into 1 minus i. Then we integrate both the sides to get small f of z. So finally small f of z is 1 minus i upon 1 plus i into integration of 3z square dz. Integration of 3z square is 3z cube upon 3. So this 3 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. We will have only z cube plus integration constant c. To simplify 1 minus i upon 1 plus i, we will multiply and divide by complex conjugate of the denominator that is 1 minus i. So we have 1 minus i square in the numerator and 1 plus i into 1 minus i in the denominator. When this is simplified, we will have only minus i in the numerator into z cube plus integration constant c. This is the required analytic function for the given u minus v. I hope you understood how to find an analytic function f of z is equal to u plus iv whenever sum of its real and imaginary part or difference of its real and imaginary part is given to us. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.